First of all, congratulations to Arsenal, all right? I despise the team for obvious reasons, rivals, etc., but they, they destroyed us in the first 20 minutes. And, uh, yeah, there's no point in denying that. And, yeah, like, literally, this has been us for the entire of this season. It's taken us 30 minutes to get into a game and... One time, for the first time, we've been punished for it. Three goals in the 20 minutes when we're not even on the pitch. We might as well not be because they're just playing it around us so easily. But yeah, we've been doing that so often. It's usually taken a goal for us to get into a game. And now we're 3-0 down and we can't do anything. So yeah, we've been punished for it and now we need to change the urgency at the start of a game. That is the key thing. All right, Instead of waiting 30 minutes and then pouncing and looking like a team we need to do that from the start and yeah it was just piss poor like this was an accumulation of most of the team being absolutely shit having their worst performances in Manchester United jerseys Memphis Darmian Feinsteiger all of them were awful today Daily Blind Luke Shaw Valencia take your pick like seriously they were all bollocks about the only two that well three Mata came to light towards the end of the game, but earlier on, he was pretty bad as well. Rooney was absolutely bollocks throughout the entire thing, yet again, but I'll come to him later on. Um, uh, I've already said that. Martial, though, he looks insane, all right? We need to rely on that kid. He's 19-year-old, and we're already have it, having to rely on him. He looks utterly brilliant. Smalling looked good in sections as well, but he had such a piss-poor defence that it made him look bad. And, uh, yeah, it, uh, it's just a horrendous thing. The one other plus, I suppose, every one of the top four competitors has been battered in the last, like, six months or so. So it's not as though we're the only one, all right? This is our time. Obviously, Man City got beat 4-1. Um, Arsenal got outplayed. I know it was only 2-0, but they got outplayed by Chelsea. Um, they've had a few defeats in their time. And then Chelsea, obviously, 3-1 against Southampton. They've, they haven't had the greatest start this season. So there are positives, but I, this is why I didn't say we were going to win the title. I said we might. Even when we were top of the league, etc., I said, obviously, check the next three games. But the reason for that is when Manchester City lose, even when they lost 4-1 to Spurs, they looked as though they'd get back in it at, like at all times, apart from the last 10 minutes when it was all over. But still, they, they had the urgency and they've got the players, they've got the depth, which is why I'm maintaining Man City will win the title. Arsenal won't win it. And I'll tell you why. Even though they beat us 3-0 today, it could have been a different story, all right? It was one of those days where every little two turn or touch just was too much like the best uh, example of this is when Schweinsteiger finds himself in space and it bubbles off his shin on a day where your confidence is high you score them the same as Martial when he turns is it Gabriel or Mertesacker and then he volleys it in yes it's a great save by Czech I'm not denying that but on another day when your confidence is up that goes in and these are the these are the little things that Arsenal's defense will get exposed for by teams who aren't losing 3-0, who don't take, you know, forever to get into a game, so have an impossible situation to come back from. This is why Manchester United won't win, because we're slow starters and we rely on Martial and Mata. Arsenal won't win it because of the, their lasps in defence later on in a game, their concentration levels go down and they rely on Sanchez too much. He was absolutely incredible. Ozil finally performed in a big game. Fine uh, against us, but yeah, the goals are right. Uh, yeah, even though you won't know them because you'll have seen them. But yeah, Sanchez. Um, well, it's great play by Arsenal. Six minutes in, and Sanchez flicks it in at the near post. Uh, one minute. No, is it like thirty-three seconds later? You know, it's a pass in. It is. He slots it in, and then what is it? Eighteen minutes. Sanchez dribbling, and then he smashes it in from outside the box. There's the three goals. We had chances later on, as I say, and it just wasn't our day. Like nothing went our way. And to be honest, we need this. We need this. It sounds so dumb, but we do. We need to get beaten, all right, to, to maybe show that we can't just pay, play this stupid passing bullshit. Why the hell didn't Schneidlin play? We paid $24 million for the second best CDM in the league last season, and we're benching him in a key fixture like this, when they've got the pace of Walcott, they've got the pace of Sanchez, they've got the creativ creativity of Ozil, and they've also got the pace and power of Ramsey, alright, like, Schneidlin would have played a key fixture, and that would, sorry, key role, and that would have allowed 
Schweinsteiger or Carrot, we can't play both at the same time, they're too similar. Schweinsteiger probably ideally to go a bit further forward and have a bit more time on the ball instead of getting dispossessed in the CDM role. That is where Schneidlin should be and then we should have Schweinsteiger further forward. But Rooney, seriously, he needs drop for a few games. He really does, alright, because he's just getting away because he's the captain, alright. He didn't he didn't motivate the team at all, all right? That's the role of a captain. I hate getting on Rooney's back, but you, you've just got to, all right? You've got players like Schneidlin. I know Herrera was injured. You've got him sitting on the bench. You've got players like Pereira sitting on the bench, who, yes, is young, but can do things, all right? You've got all these players, and Rooney still gets in the team. It's consistent bad performances for him. In terms of Memphis and Domian, they're new to the league. Domian's been exceptional. This was an off game. Fair enough. Obviously, it, it, it's bad when everyone seems to have a bad game at the same time. But Dormian, he'll learn from this. He'll get better. All right, He's new to the league. Same with Memphis. People jumping on his back. He's only 21. He's already scored four goals in all competitions. That's as much as Di Maria or Falco in the entire of last season. All right, He's 21. He'll make mistakes. He'll get better from it, though. He'll learn from these experiences. Schweinsteiger, yeah, he got outplayed today, all right? But he is the leader we need. And, you know, maybe if Schneidlin was there, he would have been able to get help a little bit more because he is getting on a bit. He's a bit like Paul Schools later on in his career in the fact that he's not as good defensively, but going forward, finding a pass when he's got time on the ball, he's incredible, all right? And he had an off day today as well. So that's probably another reason because we were devoid of leaders in the team. So they, they couldn't motivate the team to get back in it. But yeah, congratulations to Arsenal. They now leapfrog us, I think. I think we go third, City are top, Arsenal second. So of course, the title race is still on. But Manchester City will win it, and I think we can easily get second. We just need to put this behind us. We need a good, confident performance against Everton next game. And then we've got CSK away, I think, and then Manchester City at home. And if we play like that against Manchester City, especially for the first 30 minutes, it could be six or seven. So we really need to get our act together, because if we get dominated there, season's over. It's absolutely pathetic. But yeah, I'm going to remain optimistic. The international breaks back. No more injuries, please. Let's get a good result against Everton in the next game and get back in this.